Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, Best Super Zoom Camera The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is not only the best phone Samsung has ever made, but it is one that makes history, as it is the first S-series handset that comes with digital stylus support. Just like on the Galaxy Note series of phones, the S21 Ultra can now be used in conjunction with a digital stylus, even though the phone does not come with one, and unlike the Note series, a stylus can't be stored in it. Away from stylus functionality, the phone is a 5-star beast in every single way, from its massive premium display that delivers 6.8 inches of real estate, with both a 120Hz refresh rate and Quad HD Plus resolution, to its 5 nanometer system on chip, in the form of the Exynos 2100 or Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, and right through to its RAM, and large long-lasting battery. The phone is also a titan in terms of photography, with the Galaxy S21 Ultra coming with a super-powerful quad rear camera system, as well as high-resolution selfie camera. The main rear snapper has a super-advanced 108-megapixel sensor, which allows for insanely high-resolution shots. There's an absolute bounty of shooting modes too, including a fully manual pro mode, as well as panorama, our doodle, food, night, and portrait among others. While Samsung's excellent single-take mode, means that you can utilize the phone's strong AI to capture multiple pictures of a single event, ensuring you don't miss the perfect shot. The camera goodness continues too in terms of the S21 Ultra's telephoto zoom functionality, which allows for up to a remarkable 100 times space zoom. Throw in the very latest Android 11 operating system, as well as bevy of advanced features like the laptop aping DeX mode, and reverse wireless charging, and you're left with a phone that really has no weaknesses at all. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra costs a lot, but it is absolutely worth the investment if you are looking for a premium phone upgrade. Apple iPhone 12 and 12 mini, the best iPhones for most people. Both iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini are great devices and a notable update over the iPhone 11 in a number of important ways. If you've held off upgrading for a few years there's a lot here to get you invested. Highlights include an OLED screen that's far more akin to the one on the Pro models, with a higher resolution than the iPhone 11, and proper HDR support to give movies a real pop of color. The design this year is new, and it feels like a long time since we had an iPhone that looked different. The iPhone 12 has a strong resemblance to the recent iPad Air, with flat slides and a more boxy look. There's tougher ceramic shield glass on the front, IP68 water resistance, and a new MagSafe accessory range that uses magnets to attach cases and chargers. Battery life is good at around a day of heavy use. On the back there are two cameras. The ultra-wide is similar to the one on the iPhone 11 but with the added software benefit of night mode. The main 12-megapixel sensor is now faster thanks to a wider f-stop 1.6 lens, and it performs better in tough situations. There's HDR video too, which looks very colorful on the iPhone 12 6.1-inch screen and the Mini's 5.4-inch display. You've got 5G and the new A14 Bionic chipset inside, along with 64, 128 and 256 GB storage options. We've combined both these devices together as they're basically the same, but in two different sizes. OnePlus 9 Pro, a giant leap for OnePlus photography. OnePlus blew everyone away last year with its 8 Pro handset, which cemented its position at the top table of phone makers. The one area where that phone didn't quite punch as hard as its rivals though, was the camera system, so that is why this year's new OnePlus 9 Pro has doubled down on its cameras. And the results are excellent. The camera module on the OnePlus 9 Pro is co-designed with photography master Hasselblad, and offers noticeably better color accuracy and detail than previous handsets, as well as a feature-packed shooting system that competes with the best phones on the market today. Away from the camera system, the OnePlus 9 Pro is very much an evolution of the outgoing 8 Pro, coming with a similar design and iterative specs bump for this year. That is no bad thing though, as this handset's design drips with premium and feels great in the hand. The phone is powered by the latest flagship Android system on chip, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, and comes in two main configs, one with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage space, and the other offering 12 and 256 gigabytes respectively. The model we tested was the latter, 
and it delivered excellent benchmark scores and real-world speed and performance too. The OnePlus 9 Pro is also a leader when it comes round to charging tech, with the firm 65 watts warp charge charging, allowing the phone to be charged from 0 to 100% in just 29 minutes. Yes, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is our hyper-premium smartphone choice, but for those who aren't fussed with super high-level features, like digital stylus support, and just want a premium smartphone that excels across the board, then the OnePlus 9 Pro is a great choice. Apple iPhone 12 Pro, the best smartphone for Apple users who want something a little more premium. The iPhone 12 Pro takes everything great about the iPhone 12 and elevates it. Then there's the iPhone 12 Pro Max that offers better battery life and a slightly more powerful camera as well as a huge screen. The extra for the iPhone 12 Pro may not be worth the notable price hike up to $999 to everyone. But this phone pairing is undeniably the best Apple has released yet. The iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max are the most powerful iPhones to date, and they're also the company's priciest. While the same amount of money could buy you a Samsung phone with a bigger screen and more storage at the base level, most iOS users don't want to deal with Android. Instead, they can look forward to a few key upgrades over the iPhone 11 Pro, like 5G and MagSafe for clipping on accessories, as well as wireless chargers, easily and securely. Apple's 6.1-inch OLED screen on the iPhone 12 Pro really grabbed our attention, it's fantastic for video streaming and gaming, even if it's set to 60Hz while other phones are pushing 90 and even 120Hz refresh rates. Yes, the notch cut out at the top is still here, but we find it to be easy to ignore after a while, even as other phones do just fine with punch holes in displays. The triple camera setup on the iPhone 12 Pro is fantastic. While the three rear cameras aren't too different than the ones in the iPhone 11 Pro, save for the added LiDAR sensor that supposedly enables portrait mode style shots even in night mode. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the one to go for though, if you want the very best camera on an Apple device. This is some of the best battery life we've ever experienced on an iPhone, with further optimizations within iOS and a larger cell inside the phone itself. It's still not game-changing, but it's better than other Apple handsets, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is particularly notable. Apple iPhone SE 2020, the cheapest new iPhone. The A13 Bionic chipset inside the new iPhone SE, is the very same one you get in the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro. It's a rare feat to see a flagship processor inside a device that is so inexpensive, and it makes the iPhone SE far and away the finest value in the budget phone segment. But it's not exclusively about that wicked fast CPU. The latest baby iPhone also has a solid camera, wireless charging, IP67 water resistance and premium build quality. The trade-off is the SE's very dated design. You don't get all the bells and whistles that you do with a true flagship iPhone, and the camera, battery and display isn't quite as good as those on the iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro. If you are an iOS user and want a brand new phone upgrade for cheap, then the 2020 iPhone SE is an absolutely not-brainer purchase. Google Pixel 4a, best camera for its price. The Google Pixel 4a was delayed several times before it saw the light of day, but we're glad that it's here now, it follows on from the template set down by the Pixel 3a, in that it combines a great camera with a decent design and pure Android software. Perhaps the best part is the price though, just $349. That makes it a very attractive proposition, it's capable of taking some fantastic photos, especially in low light, and with enough performance to handle the majority of smartphone tasks, what else do you need? It's not quite as polished or as powerful as the flagships of course, but it costs an awful lot less. Google is adding an increasing number of exclusives to the Pixel 2, the night sight mode for the camera for example, and the recorder app that can convert speech into text in real time. You don't get 5G though, you'll have to wait for the Pixel 4a with 5G later in the year for that. As an overall package, the Pixel 4a takes the magic formula of the Pixel 3a, and then improves on it. If you're working to a budget and you're a fan of Android, and in particular Google's version of it, this is a great buy. Remember that it's going to be first in line for future Android updates too. OnePlus 9, a well-rounded Android smartphone. The OnePlus 9 is one of the best options in the premium mid-range class. It is the step-down model from the OnePlus 9 Pro, which is itself an excellent phone. 
but you don't give up too much by opting for the 9, and you save a ton of money. Like the 9 Pro, it offers great performance with a Snapdragon 888 processor, fast 65 watts wired charging, and something that will appeal especially to the landscape photographers out there, a great ultra-wide camera. The sensor behind the OnePlus 9's ultra-wide camera is physically larger than most, and offers a healthy 50 megapixel resolution. A unique lens design corrects distortion without introducing the funhouse mirror type stretching you'll often see in the corners of ultra-wide images. And if super-wide photography isn't your thing, know that the main camera turns in solid image quality too. Images are well exposed, and colors look pleasantly vibrant. OnePlus makes a big deal of the Hasselblad color science at work here, which does a fine job, but isn't as mind-blowingly good as the company suggests. Unfortunately, you do miss out on a couple of good camera features opting for the 9 rather than the 9 Pro. The main camera on the 9 Pro offers optical image stabilization, which isn't included on the 9, and is useful for its ability to keep subjects looking sharp in lower light conditions. There's also no telephoto lens, just digital zoom, which isn't as good as the 9 Pro's optical zoom. Bearing this in mind, the OnePlus 9 is still an excellent device. It offers a flagship feel and performance for a bit less than the highest-end Android options, plus a seriously good ultra-wide camera for wide-angle photo fans. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the best phone with digital stylus functionality. There's a lot to like about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and if you can manage the cost, it's undoubtedly one of the best Android experiences you're going to get this year. It features a brilliant design, a more than capable camera, and internal specs that mean it will outpace almost every phone on the market. The biggest reason for buying the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra though, is of course that S Pen, scribble on the lock screen, control the camera remotely, unleash your creative side, and more. If you need a phone with a stylus for serious work on the go, this phone has you covered. 5G is on board, which means you're covered for years when it comes to next-gen connectivity, and considering you've got the Exynos 990 or Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset running everything, this isn't a phone that'll be slowing down anytime soon. As we've said, the price is a little on the eye-watering side, but for something you're going to use every day for years to come, you might consider it worthwhile. The triple lens rear camera with 5x optical zoom deserves a mention too, as it's capable of capturing some fantastic snaps in any kind of lighting. Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, the best Android device. Samsung has three strong phones in its Galaxy S20 lineup, but the S20 Plus is the best, because it offers the best overall mix of features for the money. You get a gorgeous 6.7-inch display, with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate, 5G connectivity, and a fast Snapdragon 865 processor, plus relatively long battery life. The only features missing compared to the higher-end S20 Ultra, are the 108-megapixel camera, and the more powerful space zoom, trade-offs that most people will be willing to make. That's especially true since the S20 Plus boasts some pretty impressive cameras in its own right. The new sensors capture bright and colorful photos, and the three times lossless zoom is more powerful than what the iPhone 11 Pro Max delivers. The punchy performance was of a very high standard, only coming up short in comparison to the iPhone 11 Pro, and could handle everything we threw at it. Make no mistake, Android phones don't get much better than this. Oppo Find X2 Pro, the king of 2020. The Oppo Find X2 Pro is a real rival to Samsung Galaxy S20 series for the crown of best Android phone, and it's currently the best phone you can buy. The Snapdragon 865 makes for a seriously fast phone, while the 120Hz OLED is a joy to behold. Battery life is excellent too, and the ridiculously fast 65W charging makes up for the lack of Qi wireless charging. And there's 5G too. Another standout feature is the phone's primary camera featuring Sony's new 12-bit IMX 689 sensor. In addition the 13-megapixel periscope camera offers up a 10 times hybrid zoom and a 60 times digital zoom. It's a little on the expensive side however, considering the OnePlus 8 Pro is similar and cheaper, and the software experience offered by Color OS isn't as widely appreciated as OnePlus or Samsung's offering. Still, there's a lot that this Pro handset has to offer. Samsung Galaxy S21, a more affordable Samsung flagship. 
the Samsung Galaxy S21 isn't the height of spec and prowess as its predecessors used to be, the Samsung Galaxy S20 used to sit at the top of this list, and instead Samsung's Ultra handsets are now taking the limelight. But its strength is in its value. The S21 is a powerful phone that's more affordable than some of its competitors. Much has been said about Samsung's switch to Full HD for the Galaxy S21's display, but in our testing we didn't notice the knockdown in resolution, unless we were testing the phone side by side with a Quad HD display. With a 120Hz refresh rate and great brightness, the Galaxy S21 screen will satisfy many. The Galaxy S21's camera is much the same as the Galaxy S20, but a few software tweaks have been included from Samsung that make it just that touch better. Overall, this isn't as phenomenal as the Galaxy S21 Ultra, but for most just wanting to shoot the odd snap, this will suit you perfectly. The Galaxy S21 will be the perfect smartphone for many, with its great mix of solid spec, a great design, and the fact it's cheaper than the Galaxy S21 Ultra as well as its predecessors. If you own the Samsung Galaxy S20 we wouldn't recommend buying this, but for others this will be the perfect smartphone. Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, the best Samsung bargain. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is a more affordable entry in the brand's flagship range, however it does a good job balancing its performance and feature set to make a really attractive proposition. Headline features include a really nice 1080p 120Hz 6.5-inch display without annoying curved sides. There's also 5G support, a beefy 4500 mAh battery, expandable storage, and three cameras on the back to give you varied shots. Samsung has also decided against ditching features like Qi charging and an IP rating for water resistance. There are two models available. One packs the Exynos 990 chipset and tops out at 4G, while the other has 5G and packs the superior Snapdragon 865 chipset. We found the battery life here was far superior, so if you can spare the extra cash it's the one worth plumping for. Even though there is plastic on the back rather than glass, the S20 Fan Edition still looks good and feels enough like a high-end device. Google Pixel 4a 5G, Best Affordable 5G Phone The Google Pixel 4a 5G isn't the cheapest Pixel that Google has brought out recently, and nor is it the most powerful, but it just might be the best, combining elements of the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5 in one well-priced package. It has the same excellent camera as the Pixel 5, and the same Snapdragon 765G processor, and 5G like the Pixel 5, and an even bigger screen. Plus, like all the Pixels, it's running a clean and bloat-free version of Android, that's guaranteed timely updates from Google. All that said, it makes a few compromises to hit a lower price point, no wireless charging, no waterproofing, and slightly less RAM than the more expensive Pixel. Does any of that matter? It depends what you want from a smartphone. The combination of price, performance, and features that the Pixel 4a 5G manages to pull together, makes it just about our favorite Pixel phone of the year. It's also an easy choice for our best phones 2021 list. Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, not the best of the S series, but nevertheless great. In the simplest terms, the S21 Plus is an S21 but with a larger screen, and what a screen that is, with the 6.7-inch AMOLED looking stunning and an absolute joy to use. This panel delivers a 1300 nits peak brightness, HDR10 Plus support, and a dynamic refresh rate that maxes out at a buttery smooth 120Hz. This impressive screen is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100 CPU, depending on where you are in the world, which are both rapid, as well as 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of storage space. It's a strong core package that delivers some impressive benchmark results and rapid real-world usage. This speed is also carried into its data connection, with a state-of-the-art 5G modem on board. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus will also appeal to photographers, as it comes with a triple rear camera system and powerful selfie camera. This camera hardware is backed up with Samsung's excellent camera software too, which delivers a bounty of shooting modes and options, including director's view, which shoots video from the front and rear camera simultaneously. Throw in the latest Android 11 operating system, an in-display fingerprint reader, and a fast charging and long-lasting battery, 
and it's easy to see why the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is one of the best phones on the market today. OnePlus 8 Pro, the first OnePlus flagship. The OnePlus 8 Pro is a fantastic value because it packs so many features into a phone that costs less than other flagships. There are so many reasons why the 8 Pro is so special, but first among them is its simply astonishing 120Hz, Quad HD+, HDR10 Plus screen, which is the best display ever seen on a mobile phone. The 8 Pro also becomes the first OnePlus phone to support wireless charging. Even better, it's the fastest wireless charging we've ever seen. The 8 Pro also comes with a simply rapid suite of top-shelf internal hardware, next-gen 5G connectivity, and a selection of advanced phone features, like reverse wireless charging and IP68 water and dust proofing. Other phones sport more capable cameras, but the 8 Pro's four rear lenses performed capably in our tests, sometimes producing results that match what the best camera phones have to offer. If you want a great Android device, the OnePlus 8 Pro is proof you don't need to spend more than $1,000 to get it. Google Pixel 5, a simpler flagship from Google. The Google Pixel 5 came out in October, and it has some improvements on the Pixel 4, but also fewer features. Yes, the Pixel 5 is a bit of a course correction, as Google trims perks to lower the Pixel 5's price to make it as much of an affordable flagship as the iPhone 12 mini and OnePlus 8T. But a few key improvements make it a superior phone to the Pixel 4 XL that it's replacing. The Pixel 5 is powerful enough and its camera capability is still great, but some trimmed features make this phone less advanced than the competition. Google's knack for photo optimization still makes this phone a good choice for photographers though. Its very slim bezels also make it a surprisingly small phone, and perfect for those who like to text one-handed. The Pixel 5 has a 6-inch screen with Full HD Plus resolution, with a 90Hz refresh rate for smoother app browsing and gaming. Last year's solid black bar has been ditched for a punch hole, which means no solely depth sensors or even facial recognition, but at least that's more screen real estate. Colors are rich on the OLED display, and thanks to the dual front-facing speakers, it makes for a handy streaming device. The Pixel 5's cameras are its best-selling point. On back, the 12.2 megapixel sensor paired with Google's brilliant software optimization make for stunning photos in most situations, and the added 16 megapixels ultrawide enables respectably expansive fields of view. Best of all, the night sight mode has been improved, and can even snap shots of the heavens with its astrophotography function. Last year's battery woes are gone. A big reason we replaced the Pixel 4 XL with the Pixel 5 is that the latter's 4080 mAh battery lasts over a day, fixing the biggest drawback of the old phone. Otherwise, it's none too exciting, maxing out at 18 watts fast charging and 12 watts wireless charging, which amazingly still works through the all-metal back case. Apple iPhone 11, the best bang for your buck. If you're an Apple fan, but can't stretch financially to the tri-camera toting awesomeness that is the iPhone 11 Pro, then the iPhone 11 makes a great case as a cheaper alternative, and so it could well be the best phone for you. The iPhone 11 comes in a variety of attractive bright colors, and features a quality 6.1-inch HDR liquid retina display, Apple's latest and greatest A13 Bionic chipset, 3GB of RAM, a 3110 mAh battery, and 64 gigabytes of storage space in the entry model, which can be taken up to 256 gigabytes with extra spend. It is across the board, a well-equipped and very well-made phone, that straight out of the box feels great in the hand. What you don't get in the Apple iPhone 11, is the same flexibility of camera that you get in iPhone 11 Pro, and that's because it has a dual camera, rather than a tri-camera. Plus, the screen, while large and clear, is also trumped by the Pro range and some other equally priced devices. Regardless though, the iPhone 11 strikes a brilliant balance between features and price. You wouldn't know it's the cheaper of Apple's 2019 phones from its build, camera and speed. As such, we feel the iPhone 11 is the best phone Apple currently makes in terms of bang for your buck, and an easy recommend for most users. OnePlus Nord, the best mid-range phone of 2020. OnePlus first made its name by offering very good phone specs at very good prices, so it's fitting that it's now back in that groove with the OnePlus Nord. While OnePlus phones have slowly got more expensive over the years, the Nord goes the other way and is a fantastic mid-ranger. For less than 500 euros, 
you get a powerful Snapdragon 765G processor, at least 8GB of RAM, at least 128GB of storage, and 5G thrown in as well. That's not to mention the sharp and bright 6.44-inch display, which zips along thanks to its 90Hz refresh rate, everything on this screen looks stunning. Some compromises have been made to get the OnePlus Nord to this price, there's no wireless charging and no waterproofing, and the camera and battery life are good, rather than great. All in all though, this is an amazing package that OnePlus has put together for the price. We have only one major complaint about the OnePlus Nord, it's not easily available in the US. With sales restricted to Europe and India initially, we hope that the Nord proves so popular that OnePlus can't resist offering US shoppers this great smartphone value.